Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay tuned. We'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Hello, great to have you with us. We're really getting down to the tension-packed part of this World Cup. We're at the quarter-final stage. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me here on the commentary position is Stuart Robson. And no shortage of excitement here. We're thoroughly looking forward to this one. It's England versus France. Well, this has the makings of a very good game. Two sides full of quality, a great atmosphere, and everything to play for. The last four places up for grabs here. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford begins in goal. Harry Maguire plays alongside John Stones in central defence. Raheem Sterling plays with Phil Foden out wide. And the main striker today is Harry Kane. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Rafael Varane plays alongside Presnel Kimpembe at the back. Paul Pogba plays with N'Golo Conte in the centre of the park. And in attack today, Kylian Mbappe starts with Karim Benzema. And the contest begins... Now that's wonderful attacking play. Always going to be the goalkeeper's ball. Are being pressed here. They've got it now, what can they do? Cleverly thought out run by Paul Pogba. And he takes it on. And fine goalkeeping. Taken short. Off the post and back in play. Throw in here for England. Well, what a good start this is by France. They really have played well so far. You can just sense a goal is coming. Well, it's a team full of stars and you never quite know who's going to pop up and shine. Perhaps, Stuart, it'll be Raheem Sterling today. Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball, he can get himself out of tight situations, he can see a pass, he's very creative with his play. I think he's going to be the outstanding player today. tackle taken away well doesn't have to do it on his own 
Terrific block. Griezmann. This attack looks highly promising. Takes the shot. And no problems at all for the keeper. That's very effective. Good high pressing. Oh, he's through here. Big chance it is. A goal on the back of sustained pressure. Now they deservedly hold the advantage. Well, here's the replay, and he's got to clear his lines there. He doesn't do that. He has his pocket picked, and he's been rightly punished. Poor defending. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Gives it a go! And able to close down the shots. Denied once more. Playing it in. In it goes! Two goals in rapid fire fashion and looking very comfortable here. Well, here you can see it again. It's a superb cross, just asking for someone to go and meet it. And it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. So underway again, and a 2-0 advantage here. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Firing it in, and a goal! What a magnificent display! It's such a one-sided contest here. Well, here you can see what a good goal this is. He hits it so cleanly, and the keeper has no chance. That's a great strike. Well, you've got to say, an incredible first-half performance. That scoreline tells you all you need to know. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Able to get him. Can he finish this? Well, covering up defensively. Who can he pick out? And with that, the first half draws to a close.
And the ball is rolling again. England left with a massive mountain to climb here in the second half. Can they respond? Mbappe. Well, plenty of power there, but in fairness, should have made the keeper work. Here it is now, a substitution. Number 21, Lucas Hernandez. Foden. Getting forward. Well, the supporters think it's on. Oh, fine stop. <laughs> Going short. And they can't quite take advantage in the end. Well, I have to say, I thought that looked to be going in. It was such a good effort. And well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Benzema. Terrific block. How about the short corner? Oh, wonderful goalkeeping! Well, you have to say, from that sort of distance, that's a wonderful save. Taken short. Another goal! The lead grows to four now. A rampant display. Well, here's the replay. It's certainly a well delivered ball into the area, and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. contest 4-0 20 minutes to go in this one Well, as you can see, he's a dangerous runner with the ball. He has such good balance and pace. That's a top-class goal, isn't it? Oh, my goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. 15 minutes left for play. Kane. Rice with it. And back with Kane. He's going forward well here. And there it is. A goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at their best.
Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. A glut of goals, 5-1 it is. Number nine, Harry Kane. Karim Benzema. Griezmann. Well, he certainly wasn't offside by a mile. Substitution time it is here. Calvin Phillips entering the match. Number 18, Trent Alexander-Arnold. Harry Kane. Now Harry Kane on the move. Just made sure nothing came of that. And the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes are in order. N'Golo Conte. Teo Hernandez now. Griezmann. Benzema. And the referee's whistle, France, will be in the semi-finals. Well, it was all in a bit of a canter, to be honest. They dominated pretty much from the start, and it left the result in little doubt. They'll be full of confidence going into the next round. And the shining light for his side, Karim Benzema. Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And, of course, he scored two really good goals.